Today we're checking out a 15.6 inch laptop from Ace Magician, the same company that makes mini PCs. I want to thank them for sending this over to review on the channel. It's actually on sale for just over $300, but I'll leave a link down below with current pricing and more information. This laptop feels nice and large, has 1080p resolution, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of SSD storage, and is powered by a 12th gen Intel Alder Lake in 95 processor and has integrated Intel UHD graphics. It also folds almost completely flat. But just to be clear, this is not a touchscreen, and I don't feel like the screen wobbles too much either. I also like how it has a matte finish for the screen, because sure, the glossy displays do look good, but they've got way too much reflection, in my opinion. It also has a decent amount of ports, HDMI, USB 2.0, two USB 3.2 ports, also has a USB-C port, a headphone jack, there's an SD card slot there as well, and it charges through a separate USB-C port there on the side. I feel like the build quality is pretty nice for a budget laptop. Feels like it's metal or aluminum there on the top and bottom, but plastic on the inside where the keyboard and trackpad or touchpad is, which is actually pretty large at 6.1 inches. So nice to see that, very easy to use. Also has a nice and large keyboard, which makes it pretty easy to type on here without getting cramped up or anything. Although it's not backlit, probably so it has better battery life, which I guess I can understand that. I did run a battery drain test of continuous streaming at 100% screen brightness and it lasted just over four and a half hours. So when they advertise eight hours battery life, that's probably fairly accurate as long as you're doing mixed usage at a lower screen brightness. The performance on here is sort of what you would expect from a laptop in this category, as you can see here by the Geekman scores and after running the 3D Mark Time Spy test as well. I also ran the benchmark mode for Forza Horizon 5 just to see how it would do and yeah only eight frames per second so obviously this is not a gaming laptop and if you plan on getting this to play games on like rocket league or, or more fast-paced games you're probably going to be disappointed but for just about everything else that i tested on here it actually does a nice job much better than i expected when trying to do some 4k video editing using adobe premiere pro which i really didn't think it would be able to do but surprisingly it was fairly smooth for the most part and the screen quality on here is is good with decent viewing angles. One area that could be improved is how loud the speakers are, even when turned all the way up. Here's a quick sample just to give you an idea of what they sound like. Now for the next part of the video, you'll want to use headphones so you can hear a little better detail. I'll play a few audio clips just to give you an idea of what to expect on the Transmart Halo 100. The front facing camera on here is only 720p, which is apparently pretty common still in 2023, but it should be just good enough for Zoom meetings or other video conference calls. I feel like if you plan on using this to get some school or office work done, watch YouTube videos, Netflix, do some research online, maybe you need something to type out papers or your scripts for your YouTube videos, this is a pretty nice affordable option. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.